YouTube, it's your boy the student barber coming to you with another video. As y'all can tell by the title below, we're gonna be working on an at-home barber station. I'm not gonna waste no time. Like all my other videos, we're gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna show y'all what it is and what it ain't. Let's go. First things first, the most important thing, the most important thing, the most important thing, you gonna need lighting. Good lighting is gonna help you see them, see, see all the imperfections in any single haircut. You need some lighting up top. I have a red background, which is not the best for lighting because it does bring the, just the, the lighting from bright to dark at least 10%. Okay, after that, obviously you don't need a, some type of case, some type of setup, just to hold all your tools and implements. Just to hold all your tools and implements, you feel me? Um, to hold anything you might need later. You feel me, you got extra alcohol, extra clippers. The clippers I use on a daily, you gotta have a full setup. Even though you're an at-home barber, you still need to follow the rules and regulations to keep the barber side on deck. Obviously, the pool care. Um, a chair, a chair is actually super optional because you can really cut hair on anything, either a, a little bar stool, uh, a plastic chair, a patio chair. A chair is a chair, but a barber chair will make it a lot easier for the fact that it does spin and it does have the hydraulic pump which goes up and down. The next thing we're gonna talk about is AC and ventilation. Obviously, the ventilation isn't too serious when you're just cutting hair because it's not like chemicals and products are gonna, the smell's gonna be in here, but number one thing is AC. When you're cutting your clients, you do not want them to be wet, you don't want them to be moist, you don't want them to be sweaty, so obviously, you gotta keep them in the, in the, in the, in the, in the AC, in the hot spot, you feel me, in the, in the cool zone, if you, if you would say, you feel me, and you feel me. Don't worry about yourself too much, because obviously you're at home barber, and it's until you can afford to get it fully ventilated, and fully, fully, fully cool and AC in here. Just make sure your client is feeling the best. Make sure they're feeling at home because at the, at the end of the day, they're not in a barber shop. So you gotta make sure they feel comfortable wherever they go to get their hair cut. Um, and last thing, not even the last thing, another thing we're gonna talk about is just making sure you have mirrors because mirrors is gonna be your best friend when it, comes, when it comes to cutting hair or doing anything with hair. You may not be able to see with your naked eye what's wrong, but the mirror is gonna point it out 100% to you. So make sure you keep that with a little light or something above it. Um, maybe a little extra lighting for you, you know, to just for your station area. Little posters, you feel me? Get 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 your people is like you know, like happy to look at something during their haircut, not just themselves. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing which would be very important. I mean, unless you are just gonna be having one client, one client only at a time. I don't know if you really want, but you can have a little waiting area. I got a few chairs here. Just when my clients come and they bring, just say their girlfriend, their parent, their mom, their other homeboy that's about to get a haircut, they go in here. Obviously during this time, this is 2020, we got COVID going around. So I ain't having nobody wait anywhere, except for outside in their car and my client in the chair. Another thing which is very good to have is disinfectant, which this is Barberside, filled with water up to the hospital grade EPA. So. You feel me? It's very beneficial. Obviously, COVID is going around. You got to stay clean, stay protected while you bless up your clients. Um, another thing is not just this mirror, but another mirror so that way you can have angles. People are going to see you face forward, but they also need to see the angles when they turn to the side. Instead of always looking at this mirror, they can have another mirror, maybe even another mirror if you got it. But um, there's really not that much to it. You know what I'm saying? It's a regular at home, in home barbershop. This is just the beginning the bare minimum for what you would need, you know what I'm saying? What you would need instead of like, you know, everything, obviously everything's not done up, you're at home, everything's not done up day one, everything may not be right, but soon it will be. So what you just work with what you got and your people are gonna appreciate you 100%. Keep putting out fire cuts, keep blessing them people and they're gonna always forever, forever, forever return. They're gonna follow your growth, they're gonna follow how, from when you started to this, to an actual barbershop, to when you own your own barbershop. So as again, it's your boy, the student barber, Stay tuned, coming soon, and I'm out.